This looks so good. And I love, you guys know I love me a natural install, okay? But yeah, this looks really good. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hello, I'm Sabrina. If you are not new to this, but you are true to this, welcome back to another video. So today we are here with a new install that I've never done on my channel before. And when I say I am obsessed, I am obsessed okay so as you can already tell this is micro links in extension and this by far beats everything else that I've ever done of obviously it beats any wig it beats any tape in extensions any u-part wigs like this is the most natural form of extensions I have ever installed in my life. The hair itself is amazing. You don't need a lot to get a very full look. Like I'm, this is my, this is my new thing. Just know that, okay? So you might see a huge shift because any company that contacts me after this, I'm like, you got some micro links. <laughs> that's what we doing now okay so i want to say a super huge thank you to ywix hair for sponsoring today's video they did send me over the hair to use for this video so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial again i want to say a super huge shout out and thank you to ywix hair for sponsoring today's video so this is everything that comes in your set I did get three bundles of their 22 inch body wave hair. You will get the pliers and some extra loops in case you need it for like future installs and even extra micro link tools to help install the hair. So for my bundles, um, they do come like in their natural brown color. I wanted to dye my extensions to match my hair because I had previously dyed my hair like a couple weeks ago. So I'm doing the water dye method. I use the Revlon Color Silk Box Dye in black. And I just set my bundles in here and I made sure I got it like all the way up until the roots. And I let it sit, I want to say honestly, probably for like 30 minutes or so. I kind of forgot about it at one point, y'all. <laughs> so my hair is all ready now. So this is one bundle of micro loop extensions. Basically, this is the density. So it's truly like a bundle of hair. So depending how thick you want your hair, that's how many bundles you will get. I think I'm only going to use two. Yeah, I think two is going to be enough. Um, if I don't have to use a full two, I'm not going to, but we're going to see what we come up with. So each bundle, as you can see, comes with four different um, sets. So each section comes with 25 single micro loop. So this is what it comes with. It makes it a lot easier than the traditional way where you would have to like use the looping tool, put the bead on your hair yourself. And then it, it was a lot, it was a lot. This makes it so much easier to do by yourself. So this is a better visual. You can see again, like my strand of hair will go through here. I will pull this and it will pull my hair through the loop. And then I just tighten here with the pliers that they give you. And this is the density of just one micro loop. So as you can see, this is a lot of hair. I'm so excited. First off, before I even do this, I need to actually go through and like redo my roots. I would rather, should I do my roots now or should I do it after? Okay guys, so I'm back. I pressed out my roots and I did my leave out. So I'm going to show you guys how I did my leave out. I'm doing this kind of just like a traditional sewing kind of method. You know what I'm saying? Um, my next install, I get a little bit more creative so I can do like a half up, half down, but we're just getting into this. So we want to start out with something simple. So I'm mainly going to wear this in a middle part. So I have this entire section. Um, part out for my middle part and enough hair to cover the micro links. Um, this is how much hair I have on the sides left out and I brought it all the way down. I mean all the way to the back and I did use my comb. Where is it? I used this comb to make sure like for each section when I pulled it up 
that not, like this metal wouldn't show. So this is my leave out, basically the whole perimeter. And then obviously all of this that you see here is going to be in micro lengths. I might take a little bit more off of the top here. Um, when I get up here to make this whole process smoother, I started pre-parting. So I pre-parted my rows to make it a lot easier for me to go in and apply my micro links, clip these about the way while I do this first row. And I kind of want to do this first row off camera to get used to it, but we just, we gonna figure this out together, okay? So to do the install, Again, you want to take small sections to do this and you are gonna place your hair through the clear loop and then the tab that's on the bottom, you're just gonna pull it and then it is gonna pull your hair through the center of the micro link or the micro loop that's there. And as you can see, it's so easy to do. And then if it's not all the way up to the roots, you can slide it up closer and then you will go in with the pliers to clasp the hair tight. So the thing that I did like about these micro links specifically is that inside the tube, it's kind of like, I guess, a rubber texture a little bit. Um, so I felt a lot more comfortable with that being clamped down on my hair versus just like a metal loop clamp into my hair. Um, so again, you want to make sure that you take thin enough sections to pass through the loop. If your sections are too thick, it will not go through the loop. And if you keep trying to tug on your hair, you can cause breakage. So there were different times where I had to stop, take a little bit of hair out of my section and then go in um, to pull it through the loop. Um, so one thing I say, one thing I will say is that for my install specifically, I did try my best to get the section as thick as possible um, for the health and the strength of my hair, but also thin enough to be able to easily slide into the micro links. So this is what the first row of micro links looks like. Um, as you can see, it's pretty neat. And I did not leave any hair out like in between rows or anything like that. And I think at this point, I think this was one bundle of hair if I'm not mistaken. And I wanted to show you guys the thickness and also just what it's looking like here as well. I just kept doing the same um, process throughout. Here we are now at the front and I wanted to give you guys a better view of how I install the micro links. So here you can get like a better view of the sections that I put. Again, they're not super small. I wanted to get them as thick as I could, but obviously still thin enough to be able to slide through easily that will not cause any damage. And right here I'm showing you that if your section is a little bit too thick at the root, you can even slide it down a little bit pull your hair through at the thinner sections and then just push the micro link up to the root and that way you will be able to still get like a thicker section of hair to place the micro loop on um, without having to get it too thin so this process is time consuming i'm not even gonna hold y'all um all in all i want to say about like probably like five to six hours this was my very first time doing it though so the process itself is very easy very simple anyone can do this method but it is time consuming um, especially if you're going to do smaller sections than i did then you can expect to be there for a little bit um, if you have someone else that's helping you, obviously it will go a lot faster, but I'm trying to do it myself. So, you know, with parting, all of that, it's a little bit time consuming. So right here, I just wanted to show you guys what my hair was looking like. Again, I did not skip any rows. There is no like hair left out in between each row. Every single hair with the section that I did my micro links on is in a micro link. There's no hair left out in between, next to each other, 
it's all micro linked up in there so for the front section um, for my last row I intended to go all the way around but I decided that I just wanted to be safe and have enough hair left out to cover my micro links so on my very last row I actually only applied micro links on the very sides but then like that back section I just left it out to make sure I had enough left out in the back and this is what it's looking like and here I gave you another close-up so you can see what my rows are looking like um, just be very careful that you know you don't have stray hairs like in between because you can cause breakage like that just make sure your parts are as clean as possible and you can see the thickness of my sections it just looks like I kind of have like small braids but they're not micro tiny you know like they're not hanging on by a strand so I know the um, health of my hair is going to be prote protected throughout this process so this is the next day because I did not finish the night before y'all like I went to bed like at two <laughs> and then I woke up and I finished that last row I think um, so here I'm styling my hair and this is when I was just blown away because I was like oh my gosh it's so flat <laughs> So um, I went in to basically just style the hair before I got ready. Right here, I'm putting on some heat protectant. Um, and then I'm just gonna like straighten out the hair a little bit because it is body wave hair. So, and you know, I washed it and air dried it. So this is the natural texture of the hair. And I went in with a curling iron to put some curls in my hair. I have not used a like legit curling iron in years, y'all. Like I typically do wand curls or I'll use my flat iron. So the way I felt so conflicted trying to use this was ridiculous. But I went in, I put in some loose um, curls in here and styled it. And yeah, but this took a little minute to do. But y'all, I friggin' love the look of this. It's so... Uh, y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. Okay, you guys. So this is the finished look of my hair um all my curls fell i didn't put any hairspray on it so i'm definitely gonna have to get like a soft whole hairspray this is the finished look and it looks so good so let me show you guys the full body of it so this is what it's looking like it looks so natural i'm gonna flip my hair up so you guys can see if I want to wear my hair up in a ponytail, this is what it's going to be looking like. I haven't tried it yet or anything, but this is what it looks like if I want to go ponytail mode. And then you guys have already seen like from the sides, like this looks so natural. <laughs> like it's super flat. You don't see any lumps at all. I'm more of a low ponytail girl now than a high ponytail, but this is gonna look so good. Like when I go to the gym, I'm definitely gonna put like a head wrap on since I don't have like a fresh keratin and the roots do be reverting. But this is only one and a half bundles. Um, So let me show you guys. So I still have the full three third bundle right here with all four sections. And then I have a full two um, cluster out of the second bundle. Um, I definitely, I feel like I, I could have definitely fit two bundles in here for sure if I would have done my sections like even smaller. But this very first time around, I wanted to make sure I can like maintain the integrity and the health of my hair. I wanted to see how my hair reacts to having this in before I did like super small sections because you have to think about it, that's still weight on the hair and I just wanted to have enough hair to hold the weight so my hair doesn't break off or get damaged. But for sure, I can fit like two bundles on my head. Obviously, if you have more head space, you can definitely get away with um, more hair on your head, but I also want it to look very natural. I didn't want to run the risk of any, um, you know, micro links popping up and showing up at random places. I wanted to make sure I had enough leave out, but no, this looks really good. It blends really good too. Like this blends really good with my hair. But yeah, this looks really good, you guys. Like it looks so natural. It's so light on my head. 
and this is really good hair this is really good hair but they have so many different textures on their website they like have everything from like literally yakky straight kinky straight um body wave straight hair curly hair any texture that you would like to get they have it on their site um i'm so in love with this i do plan on keeping this in for an entire month it's the end of october right now it's october 29th i plan on having this all the way through november so i'm definitely gonna have maintenance days where i have to wash my hair do all of that so if you guys want to see um my maintenance routines while i have this installed in and how i care for my natural hair to upkeep the health and all of that and even the removal process like once i take it down so you guys can see like what it's truly like to have and wear this hair not just have it installed and how it looked then definitely um let me know in the comments you know what maybe that's what it is i think i need to trim I think I'm going to trim the front a little bit to match my hair and then I think it will flow better up here. This looks so good and I love you guys know I love me a natural install okay but yeah this looks really good. Now I guess I can show you guys really quick what it would look like up and a ponytail. Even if I didn't want to do like a super low ponytail and I just, I wanted to do one like this, like even this high. This is what it will look like. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah. Wow. Um okay i'm really excited to like actually like style this in different but yeah this is absolutely beautiful the hair itself is like it's really soft it's smooth you guys saw that i dyed this hair it's still very silky and very soft which again that was like another thing i was like if i'm gonna have all this hair mixed in with my hair i would rather have a hair extension that's really easy to manage versus having my hair and then another texture that's a lot of texture to manage in between my texture like baby i'm just i'm asking for a lot okay guys so this again this is the finished result i absolutely love it um let me know which one of those like follow-up videos you would like to see with this install and this hair thank you so much to why for sponsoring today's video i will have all of the links down below i will have the links to this exact hair texture if you want this one to do exactly what i have down below as long as well as my discount code to help you guys save some coins i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video bye y'all